in this section we'll try to understand the asset option used with aggregate command with some other example so in this example what i did is i just added one router and i continued the previous configuration similar one like uh, router 1 router 2 router 3 router 4 as pre-configured just like this, the same thing what we did in the previous example only the thing i added is i connected one router 5 here which will be in the as 500 and then i am going to add some loopback interfaces here so router 2 is having some loopback interfaces which are which is already pre-configured here and router 4 also i'm going to add the similar a kind of loopback interfaces like here i'll be adding 12.0.10.1 11.1 12.13.1 and then once we configure this what i'm going to do is i'm going to advertise them in the bgp now this 12 dot network here will be advertised in bgp and it goes to router 2 and router 2 also advertise this 12 dot network to bgp which means again they get advertised to router 1 now what i'm going to do is on the router 1 we are going to summarize this 12 dot network let's say we are going to summarize these two networks coming from here as well as coming from here on router 1 and we will verify on the router 5 because now we as if you remember we discussed that bgp as set whenever you configure bgp aggregation on router on as number which other than as number where the routes are originating now it's going to destroy the as path information so by default as path information will be removed and as over as set option so a set option can override this behavior so it's going to preserve that as path information let us see how it is going to preserve in this example now the only difference between the previous example and this example is we are just having some similar uh, network the same net net networks belong to, the subnets belong to the same network that is 12 dot network we have on the router 4 as well as on the router 3 so let us get to the lab here so the first thing I'll do is I'll, I already have a router 5 connected so I'll go to router 5 and I'm going to configure the BGP on the router 5 just a neighbor command 10.1.1.1 uh, which is router 1 and the remote AS is 100 and I don't have any network so probably I'll I'll skip that advertisements here if you want you can advertise the 10. network also now on the router 1 Again, we are going to configure router 1 to 5 neighborship. Neighbor 10.1.1.5 and then remote AS is 500. So that is IP address of router 5. So let me quickly check what are the configurations we need to do. So exactly the same configuration. So on the router 1, we configured a neighbor command pointing to router 5. And on the router 5, we configured a neighbor command pointing to router 1. And then I will also advertise 10 dot network on the router 5. Okay, done. So now uh, once I configure this, I should see the neighborship come up between router 5 and router 1, and I'm able to see all the routes. Show IP BGP. I can see the 13 dot network which are summarized in our first example on the router 3. And then we summarize on the router 2, we summarize uh, 14 dot network by verifying the ASET option and it preserves the information here. Now the similar kind of example we are going to see, but this time we have the subnets present in different, different autonomous system. Like I have some part of subnets present in AS200, which belongs to 12 dot network and some part of networks here are in AS400. So we'll try to understand how it is going to preserve that AS path information in this example. So on the router 2, I'm going to advertise this 12 dot network. Right now they are not advertised. You can see on the router 2, I have those uh, loopback interfaces pre-configured. And I'm going to advertise this loopback interfaces on the router 2. So router BGP 200, advertising 12.000 with slash 24 mask. And then advertising the other loopbacks. So I just advertised all the four loopback interfaces. So now if I verify show IP BGP, I should see those four uh, loopback interfaces 12.0123 advertised in BGP and then router 1 on the router 1 also I should see those loopbacks 12.01 Okay, now you can see I'm able to see 12.0.1.0123 
So let's go to router 4 and advertise this loopback interfaces so on the router 4. Uh, I think I don't have those loopback interfaces, so I'll try to quickly configure those loopback interfaces here. So I just created this loopback interfaces on the router 4. So if you verify show IP interface brief, I can see 14 is already present. So I just created this 12 dot networks. So my main intention is here to ensure that I'm going, I am having 12 dot networks, some networks coming from here, which is 12 dot 0 dot 10, 11, 12, 13, and some part of networks coming from AS 200. Now, finally, when these routes go from here, router one is going to summarize and when it goes to router five, we'll, we'll try to preserve the AS path information. So in this example, when compared to the previous example, the only difference is now uh, in the previous example, we have all the routes originating from the same AS, all the subnets which are summarized. Now in this example, we have subnets summarized from different AS. So let's go to router one and verify all the 12 dot network show IP BGP include all 12s. Sorry, I didn't advertise on the router 4 in BGP. So I'll advertise them in BGP router BGP 400 network 12.0.10.0 with slash 24 subnet mass. These are the IP addresses and then 10 12.0.11, 12 and 13. So once we configure them, if you verify on the router 2, let's verify on the router 1. Show IP BGP. Show IP BGP include 12. Now you can see a router 1 is able to receive the routes coming from router 2, AS100, AS200. And these four loopbacks are coming from AS400, originating from 400 and then going to 300 and 200 and finally reaching to router 1. So my requirement is to, uh, on the router 1, that router 1 has to summarize and it, it when it sends to router 5, all these four, all these eight loopbacks. So after summarization, you now here I got first network, the least possible network is 12.000 and the highest possible network is 13.1. So if I summarize somewhere around, let's say if I give slash 20 is a summary mask. So I'll go to router one and then router BGP 100. And then we are going to say aggregate address 12.000 with a mask of slash 20, 255, 240.0. And then I'm going to say summary only. And the reason summary only is if you don't define this option, it is, it is uh, not going to suppress the individual prefixes. So that is mandatory and I'm not going to use the ASET option. So if I don't do, use ASET option, what happens? You already know that. What happens when I don't use this? By default, the BGP is going to advertise. Let me make it be more specific. 12 dot, okay. Show IP BGP include 12. Now it is going to advertise the summary address right it's going to advertise the summary address and automatically it is going to suppress the individual specific route and the reason is we have used summary only option but it is going to remove that information as path information so it is going to uh, simply destroy the as path information and it's going to advertise as the locally originated route and you will find this atomic ag aggregate attribute which is going to define that uh, some information has been lost and it is done by router 1. So if we check on the router 5, the router 5 is going to receive that summary mask, summary network, the slash 20 as it is originated from router 1. So it is coming from AS100 and it's going to uh, destroy all the AS path information here, which I don't want. So what we can do is we just need to add AS set command at the time of summarization. So I'll go to router 1 again. And I'm going to say define the same command with an option called AS. So I want to preserve that AS path information done. So I configured the same summary command along with AS set option. So now if I verify once again, show IP BGP, uh, which include 12. Now you can see this summary network 
even though it is locally originated but still it is going to preserve that as path information now here you can see now if you have the summary routes originating from different autonomous systems like in my example here uh, the routes 12.0 networks are coming from AS400 and also you are receiving the route from AS200 which means uh, whatever the summary mask we are using 12.000 slash 20 it is actually originating from multiple AS it's coming from 400 and also going via 300 and there are some routes belongs to 200 and it's going to preserve this complete AS path information and it is going to show in the brackets you can see here uh, flower brackets so which means so the order may not be correct so it will be a random order but it's going to say that it's going to preserve that as path information in flower brackets so if you if you remember the last example which we did we we don't have this brackets mentioned over there and the reason is because uh, the all the summary routes are originating from the same as so if it is coming from the same as you don't see these brackets defined but whenever you see this it means that you have a summary the individual prefixes inside the summary address were actually originating from different different autonomous system numbers and moving between different A's. So this one example also this example is uh, one another kind of A set which is most commonly used where you may have a requirement that uh, you are receiving the route from both the sides probably let's say you are receiving 12 network from this side and some other set of 12 network coming from this side but when this router is going to send to other routers it's going to summarize but still this AS path uh, information will be preserved and it's going to ensure that there is no routing loops so whenever any update comes on this router again back whenever it sees its own AS number inside that uh, it will ensure that uh, it will not install those routes the default BGP loop prevention mechanism